So here we have our ultimate bitless bridle. I'm going to show you how to put it on. And we have our uh, horse mannequin head here. Um, this is the version that has the elastic built in to the nose bands here. So you can see as I pull the elastic stretches, it's on all four rings. So the way to put the bridle on is we grab both nose bands and the crown piece together. We grasp on the sides close to the rings and open the bridle up so we have a big space. And just hold it here and you can bring it up over the horse's face. And I hold the nose bands in place. And then you can bring the crown piece up over the ears. Um, what you want to do next is take the slack out from underneath. So you'll just pull on both sides here and take it out. And since our bridle creates nose pressure, you want to make sure that the nose bands are up high, really close to the cheekbone, maybe one finger length away. Um, so it's really easy to adjust. All we have to do is pull some slack and feed it through the triglide here to adjust it. The other important thing to do with your bridle, you can see that the rein straps here are quite long, um, which would be fine if you were just riding, but we highly recommend that you adjust the rein strap length so that if you're lunging um, or doing some other training method, so there's no possibility your horse can step through the rein straps. So we want to retie these double fisherman knots and make sure that they can then meet just under the jaw. So to retie the fisherman knots, I just twist my ring back and forth to loosen it up. And we're going to pull this out. There we go. So I'm going to measure to where there is some extra slack underneath because you want to have some extra slack so you can put the bridle on fairly easily. So about right in there. The way we tie the knot, you can see how we have the ring here, is we're going to make one loop around like that, and then we make our second loop just below. And then we take our end and we go up through both knots. Really easy, very secure knot. Pull it tight, and then we'll pull it and it'll cinch down on the ring here. And if we do the same thing over here, Loosen it up. There we go. So, this one's right here. I'm going to make them about the same length. And you can just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be super precise. So here we go, fisherman knot. There's our ring. We're going to go around once. Second loop is below, and we go up through, like so, and just pull it tight, cinch it down, there we go. So now that we have these adjusted, it's really easy. You can hook in a lunge line to both rings here, and you can lunge on a circle. You can really easily hook into both of these, and you can drive or ground drive with your horse. You can also lunge on a single rein if you have your reins secured on your saddle or on a D-ring. You can actually lunge on a single ring. And that's possible because when you pull on a single rein, the pressure is balanced from this ring to the opposing ring and then finally comes up to the pole here. So you really have great directionals with the bridle to give your horse clear communication. And that's the ultimate bitless bridle.